Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework Video Solutions. So we have a problem today that comes in and it's estimating a limit using a table. So let's get to it. All right, so it says that we're evaluating the limit or we're actually approximating the limit as x approaches zero of the square root of x plus two minus the square root of two all over x. So it, specific, it specifically says we have to use a table to estimate, which means something funky is gonna happen here at x equals zero. So I just wanna see what's happening at x equals zero. Remember the limit of a function is really, let's see, if we were to sketch a little function, the limit of a function, that's about what this looks like if this were one, okay? And you can use Desmos, the online graphing utility, to graph this function and see a picture of it. But something very specific happens at one. There's a hole in the graph right here where it's undefined. So we know that this is continuous. It just doesn't have a value here. So we want to estimate the limit using a table. And the reason they're asking you to use a table is to get an idea of a limit. A limit is the intended height of a function but it needs to be the intended height coming from the left direction and from the right direction. So the both the you might hear the term left hand limit, right hand limit. It's the intended height of a function and that can only exist if coming from both directions that height is the same. All right, so let's see. First of all, it shouldn't be too hard to see what the problem is with zero. You have a zero in the denominator and that's not okay. However, I wanna see what's happening at zero everywhere here because if I get a number over zero, I know that this function's limit does not exist. So let's see, if I have the square root of zero plus two minus the square root of two all over zero, we know this, we can't have this, so there's the problem there. So square root of zero plus two is square root of two, square root of two minus two is simply zero. So once again, we get zero over zero, which is our indeterminate form. I'm sure you're getting tired of hearing this by now. Indeterminate form, which means we can't really tell what's happening or if the limit exists. So the first thing they usually ask you to do is to make a table to estimate values. Worst thing about making a table is that you have to make a table and that it takes forever. So let's see, we've got some x values. We're gonna put the function over here, the x plus two minus oops, square root all over x. And I'm going to uh, use a handy dandy calculator to go ahead and calculate these values. But what you wanna do is approaching zero from the left. So coming in, you want values less than zero. So negative 0.1, negative 0.01, negative 0.001. Since I've run out of room, I'm going to stop there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the positive side, 0.001. 0 0.01 and 0 0.1. And we are going to see what this function approximates as you get closer and closer to zero. We know there'll be nothing here, okay? This is undefined. So we can just go ahead and put that in right now, okay? It's undefined at zero because we have a zero in the denominator. Okay, so looking at this, 0 0.35 rounding, we get eight. Let's see if we put this in, 0 0.35. Five, four, and 0 0.354 is what we get here. And 0 0.354 here, 0 0.35 rounds to three, and 0 0.349. Okay, so we can say that as this function gets closer and closer to zero from both the right side, so the positive direction, numbers bigger than zero, and from the left side, numbers smaller than zero, we are approximating, let's say, approximately approaching 0 0.354 or 354 thousandths. And if you graph this, again, either on your graphing calculator or on something online like Desmos, you would see that this is coming in right about 0.4 is where I estimated it when I graphed it, but this is more accurate 0 0.354. So you won't do too many limits from tables. They're just doing this to introduce the idea of the left side, right side, and for values that you really just can't plug in and you don't know any other techniques yet. So soon you'll learn some other techniques and we'll use those later down the line. I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.